Hi there, my name is Emily Lukasik. I'm a member of the acting company at Shaw, and what I have for you today is a speech warm up. So, something that I would do to prepare myself for rehearsal or performance based on Tim Carroll's exercises that he does with us as a cast. So, before I do anything vocal, I often like to start with something physical because if my body is warm, it's so much easier to warm up my voice. So, I'm going to encourage you to hit pause and go check out another video, perhaps on movement or dance, or if you just want to do some jumping jacks in your living room or wherever you find yourself, I'll meet you right back here. Ooh, okay, are you warm? Me too. So, now that our bodies are warm, the first exercise I'm going to show you goes like this. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah. That's right, it's pretty boring. We're gonna do the ah sound in groups of threes. And what I want you to think about is not being too huffy with an H on the front of it, ha, ha, but also not being too glottally. So that's ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, that attack of it. There's a sweet spot in the middle. And what you can do is you can do it three times and kind of hear yourself and every, every set of three, you can go, ooh, number two is the best. So again, I'm going to ask you to hit pause, and I usually do this for five minutes at the beginning of my warm-up. You don't have to do it for a full five, but uh, hit pause, and I'll meet you back here. Great! Now that you're done your ahs, we're going to move on to intoning. So intoning is where we take a piece of text, it can be whatever, it can be lyrics from a song, it can be a monologue you're working on, and if you don't have anything, I'm going to pull up a George Bernard Shaw speech for you to look at. But let's say we're doing To Be or Not To Be from Hamlet. This is what intoning would sound like. To be or not to be, that is the question. And you're going to go through every line of text, and every time you have to take a breath, you can move up or down a few notes, but keep it all on one note for every breath. So you would do one line like this. Then maybe your next line would be up here. So again, you can use your own text if you have it, or if not, feel free to use this George Bernard Shaw quote. Are you done your text? Awesome. So now we're going to move on to a sing sound. So that's like the word sing, and it's the NG that comes at the end of that word. You're going to do sort of just a freestyle roller coaster, something like this. Sing. And this is just a way to sort of see where your voice is at, how high you or how low you're feeling you can go today. Again, no judgment or pressure, but just see what you got. So you can do this for, let's say, a minute or two. I encourage you to hit pause. Now that we're done the roller coaster, we're going to do something a little more specific with the NG. Again, going back to your text, we're going to do somewhat like intoning, except the only sound that's going to come out is the NG sound, like this. This one's a little bit tricky. You're still going to say the words with your mouth, except the only sound you're going to allow to come out is the NG. So again, I would ask you to spend maybe two to five minutes, depending on <laughs> how much fun you're having with it. And uh, I'll meet you back here. So now that you are masters of the NG mm, sound, you're gonna take your text and once more, Use the NG, except this time you don't have to stay on the one note for every line. You actually are encouraged to almost make it as roller coastery, roller coastery as possible, like this. Okay, so you can go do that with your text, or if you want, you can keep using that George Bernard Shaw quote. Okay, great. So we have done an ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. 
we have done intoning where we say each line like this. We have done just to warm up our voices. We and then finally we went Great, so that is a sneak peek into just how crazy we actors are in a rehearsal hall and I hope you've enjoyed <laughs> joining in or getting a good laugh and I would warn your family or whoever you're staying with in your pod right now that it's going to get a little bit funky. <laughs> Thanks for joining.